Welcome, Rebels, to the main event. And with it comes your chance to become not just another ordinary athlete, but one of the greatest in college athletics. So as you find yourself surrounded by your competition today, remember one thing. You are a Rebel, and you are here to make certain that everyone watching knows it. Indoor NCAA championships, we had four of our athletes go, two young men, two young women, and the, the goal obviously is, is always to represent the brand of Ole Miss at the highest level. Just remembering who you are and who you represent, and we always understand that we represent the red and blue of Ole Miss and the great state of Mississippi, and we have that chip on our shoulder that we want to be the best, and regardless what the rankings say, regardless what some analysts or people feel like we can finish. We always believe that we defined our ceiling and not no one else. With Championship Saturday upon them, the first Ole Miss competitor of the day was senior Fabia McDonald participating in the pentathlon. NCAAs, the tension in the room, the energy, it's just, it's a whole di different atmosphere compared to in season or postseason. I mean, I mean, you have the best of the best in one room. Who, who wouldn't want to be there? I wanted to be an NCAA contender. I wanted to be there. Like that's the place to be, and I that's goal number one. I mean, but I set I set goals so high for myself that I mean, if I don't reach them, I don't get down on myself because the race is never over, regardless if I'm at the university or not. Like I'm gonna still be over struggling. I'm still gonna compete at the highest level regardless of what I'm doing. Fighting a nagging injury throughout the day, McDonald eventually re-aggravated her hamstring and was unable to finish her final event. But she is hardly disappointed in her performance at indoors, especially knowing that the outdoor season is still in front of her. I believe that me being able to get to the outdoor season made the indoor season successful because I could easily, you know, went downhill and stayed there. For Philip Young, competing in the NCAA championships was nothing new to him. But at this year's indoor finals, the senior transfer found that what motivated him were those prior experiences. I always want to come out on top. You know what I'm saying? I like I like all eyes on me. And when you get on the podium, you know, like I said, it wasn't my first time there. I always want to be on the top of the podium. Because when you're down on the bottom of the podium, you see all the cameras facing the number one. That's why I needed to be. So I mean, I have very high expectations for myself, but I don't see meeting them as a problem. Oh, it, it was motivation. It was. It felt real good. I was like, all right, there is more. Now let's get it up out of here. I mean, you got no more time to waste this last indoor media college career. Qualifying for the finals, Young eventually posted a personal indoor best at the triple jump. But just like any true competitor, he is looking to push himself even further. I, w I was pleased by the jump. It, was, it definitely felt good. I just wanted to go further still. I just felt like I still had something in me to just push and get more. And yeah, I got some big expectations for outdoor and I got a lot of jumps that went unnoticed because of scratches and inconsistency that we're going to take advantage of and we will be very successful this out of the season. Perhaps the most hopeful for gold was sophomore runner Jalen Miller. Although he posted the fastest 60 meter preliminary time, Miller still felt as though there was a chip on his shoulder and he had more to prove. Coming in I just wanted to just show everyone that I deserve to be here. I wasn't a high class recruit, I was running the average time out of Mississippi so Really didn't get that many looks from the big schools, and Ole Miss gave me the chance to just come in and show what I had. Right next to him in lane four, the Ole Miss sophomore, Jalen Miller. He's confident about this race because he ran a 6.55 in January. This man is a great young talent in just his second year of track and field. Second, he won the SEC championships. He is a very good starter, is Miller. His race is very complete. Miller out well, but so is Teeters. Now Teeters is picking it up. It is John Teeters, but look down on lane two. It looks like it might have been Ronnie Baker of TCU coming up very, very late. It is Baker, 6.52. Nobody, including us, saw him coming, but that's why they run the final. Although his 6.56 time was not good enough for gold on this day, Miller is confident that his consistency will eventually propel him to the top of the podium. Well, when I seen the time, I seen C56, so I knew I stayed consistent with my race model. But oh yeah, I know season's gonna be one of the best I've had in 
since since I started running track. I think this is gonna be the year. You know, you got the World Championships coming up, big expectations. So now that people know who I am, I have a really good shot of just proving to them and to myself that I'm one of the best in the nation. The final Ole Miss contestant on Championship Saturday was freshman Brooke Feldmeyer. Running in the 800 meter prelims, Feldmeyer broke her own school record in order to make the finals cut off. I think it was really special. I was not expecting that. Like, if you would have told me that I was going to go to nationals in the 800 meters, I would have thought you were crazy. So it was just really exciting and really special. Especially because it was a brand new event. I've never even done indoor track before. So everything was brand new. So it was like, whoa, okay, this is working. <laughs> even though competing in the indoor 800 is uncharted territory for the freshmen, Feldmeyer's parents could not be more proud of their daughter's podium finish. It's a really surreal feeling. We, we knew she would do well, but we didn't expect her to do this well. To make the final, well, the joy. It was so exciting to have my parents. Like, they're so supportive and it meant a lot that they could come, so it's awesome. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun and I know that like hard work truly does pay off because I know the work that I've put in, so it was really fun to see it pay off. And, they have coaches that are so supportive and everyone here is so supportive and it's been amazing. With the indoor season behind them, Coach believes that his team has turned a corner confidence-wise and now are ready to take on the outdoor season as potential champions. For us, it's about finishing strong. Uh, particularly on the men's side, we started this season with the SEC runner-up in cross country. We were fourth indoor. And I think this team is beginning to believe that we can compete with the upper echelon and that we can be one of the teams in the hunt for the SEC championship.